The lob. It's a shot that is massively underused, massively underrespected, in my opinion. And I believe the reasons for that is it's because it's a hard shot to do. It's very tough. And if you are playing slow and you are looking to lob the ball, if you get it wrong, you get it really wrong. You're completely exposed and you're going to be in all sorts of trouble. So I want to try to give you the key technical details to try and get a good lob. Generally, it's a defensive shot and generally it gets played from the front of the court. So if you're under a bit of pressure, your opponents put you into the front and you are you're scrambling a little bit. You know, you, you don't have much, much time. The lob buys you time. The lob is a shot where you want to use loads of height. You want to use a good cross-court angle as well. So the straight lob is important, but the cross-court lob, so from the front right to the back left or from the front left to the back right, those two options will be great because there's more time the ball can hang in the air. And the more time the ball's hanging in the air, the more time you have to recover and the more frustrating that is for your opponent. So one of the big things to consider, if we're talking about height as our priority. Height is our priority. If we're talking about height, we've got to hit the bottom of the ball. All too often I see someone approaching the ball in the front for the lob and they, they, they're hitting the side of the ball, even the top sometimes. We've got to get that bottom of the ball. So to get the bottom of the ball, you're coming in with a low backswing, almost a sweeping backswing. So if I'm moving to the front right and I'm trying to lob, that's my swing. It's so low. I'm, 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 I'm almost keeping it on the ground. I'm keeping it below my hips, definitely, because I want to lift that ball. If there's anything above the ball, it's really hard to drop the racket under and then get it back up. Also, if you notice, for me, the lob has got a very similar poise with the movement as the drop shot. I've got to get my hips low. I've got to get my knees down here somewhere. If I don't get low, if there's a disconnect between my knees and hips and the ball, again, the bottom of the ball is not going to happen. So it's that low racket position, low almost crouching movement into the front, same on the backhand, low position, crouching movement into the front, and just all of that is saying, well, I'm gonna hit the ball up. It's not trying to disguise the ball, it's trying to get yourself out of trouble. And when it comes to the execution, the ball's gotta be in front of you, the contact point. If you get side onto the ball there, it's very hard to then flick it and try pull it over to that side. So when you go into the lob, the ball's over here somewhere. My contact point is well out in front of me there. I'm reaching forwards. I'm not reaching sideways. I'm trying to reach well forwards. Because from there, that gives the ball a lot of lift and it really assists my follow through. If that follow through, if you bail out, I see a lot of people get to the lob and they kind of go, Ugh, and, they, and they let the follow through flop and they don't commit to that follow through. That's not gonna give the ball lift. That's not gonna give the ball height. All of those moving parts together, in a lob have to be working in conjunction. That's, I suppose, the unfortunate thing about a lob. All of those bits, if one or two of those are missing, you're gonna really struggle to play a lob. So I'll give you a couple of demonstrations and then we'll see how it goes. So if I'm moving onto the ball in that front backhand, I'll be getting there, low position, and I'm really getting that height and that sweep on that ball. And it's just trying to really make sure that height is the major priority. Low position, open racket face, definitely, and lift. Forehand lob should look something like this. I'll be going down there. That's a bit better. Perfect. And really drifting that ball high, getting close to that side wall, buying myself time to get out of trouble. It is both an attacking and defending shot. Generally, it's defending. But you see some better players using the lob as a slight attacking shot as well. They might not need to play it, but they'll be able to execute it to put pressure back on their opponent. And the beautiful thing is when it's executed well, it hangs in the air, but then as it drops down, there's no energy in the ball. Your opponent is now under pressure having to dig themselves out the corner. So enjoy trying to work on it. Embrace the challenge with the lob. Really try to go to that point. It's gonna be frustrating, you're gonna get it wrong, but trust me, when you get it and it starts to fall into place, a whole new element of the game will open up for you. Have you ever wondered what Jonah Barrington, Nick Matthew and Jonathan Power all have in common? They might all be world number ones, but they're also all coaches on SquashSkills.com. Now, SquashSkills is the online training platform that's designed to give amateur players the insight and knowledge to take their games to a whole different level. So if you've been struggling with your game, or you're stuck in a bit of a rut, or you're wondering how to improve, we've got you covered. With over 4,000 videos from some of the biggest names in the sport, as well as the ultimate training app, complete with every single squash exercise under the sun, we're there to take care of you and ensure that you can improve your squash 
no matter what your level. We're so confident that we can improve your understanding of the game that we'll even give you a 14-day money-back guaranteed if you're not completely satisfied. So if you're looking to take your game to a whole new level in 2024, be sure to check out squashskills.com today.